What's up, guys? I'm Spawn Hell. Ready to come to the Diablo Research Institution. Blessings to my patrons and channel members. May your finances be blessed and may you have many wives. And blessings to those who like this damn video. And subscribe to the page and hit the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. So basically what I have right here is a trap sin once again. But this is not the trap sin that you saw last video, okay? Or the one before that even for that matter. Because I decided to go fire. Because we all probably know that fire trap sins in Diablo 2 Resurrected suck big you know what. We just kind of know that they that they do. There's just something about it where you don't really see them in hell. But this one, however, I kind of decked out a little bit. Uh, and there has been a new item or two added to D2R recently, right? One of which is Flickering Flame, a rune word. Nef, po, vex. And I put this in a crown just because I wanted to cover that face a little bit. Level 6. Resist fire aura when equipped. So yeah, that's actually really good because it helps uh, negate the whole negative fire res that you get from the Flame Rift Sunder Charm Grand Charm. Which of course is also a new addition to Diablo 2 Resurrected. The whole Sunder Charm thing. Uh, but I know some people don't like it. Some people do. I'm curious what you guys think. Do you think that the Sunder Charms were a good addition to Diablo 2? Or do you just wish them away? Uh, do, you, do you wish that they never did that shit in the first place? Let me know in the comments below. So, with this nice helm, I get a ton of fire res. And it's an aura, so it works on your mercenary as well. So it's quite nice. But nonetheless, a resist fire aura. Plus 3 to fire skills. Negative 13% to enemy fire res. And some other decent stats. So Flickering Flame is a pretty nice helm for most fire characters. But check this out. There's something else that's kind of interesting about this build. This is probably one of the most expensive claws that you can get. Uh, if you get a, a magic one. This is why it's important to look out for magic claws in Diablo 2. Especially if they are Greater Talons or Runic Talons or even Feral Claws. Uh, Feral Claws are second best in terms of their base increased attack speed, but Runic and Greater Talons are the best. And this one is a Greater Talon. So basically, the Cunning Prefix is the plus three to traps, so an epic stat. Uh, and you can't get that on rares. You can only get, uh, you can't get that shit on rares. So basically, plus three to traps, and of quickness is the 40 IS. And then what you want to do, of course, is look out for one that has another random mod rolled. In this one, in this case, it is Wake of Fire. Plus three to Wake of Fire. So this is just a freaking hog of a claw. And I put two fire facets in there because, of course, it's not a Vartisan or anything like that. So the magic affixes don't help with its sockets. But if you Larzuck a magic item, depending on the item level... You can, in some cases, potentially get two sockets instead of just one. So, in this case, it was a lucky Larsuk, alright? Is what he's going to be saying hypothetically. And this shit got two sockets. But, yeah, this is a hog of a claw. And I'm going to show you the rest of the gear in just a minute here. But nonetheless, I'm going to go, I'm going to go kill some shit first. So, my Wake of Fire. Now, here's the problem. It doesn't do crazy damage. It has epic AoE. It shoots those little, uh, those triangular flame waves. It's just, just godly in its uh, application. But unfortunately, its damage is, is kind of lackluster. You know what I'm saying? So in this case, the flame wave, a trap that emits waves of fire. And this is level 43. It doesn't have a ton of synergies. They shoot five times each. Fire damage, 1,375 to 1,551. Now check this out. I'll take this claw off and look at the damage. It's uh, about 1,100. So you get a lot of damage from that damn claw. And let's see what the helm does. Uh, 1,386. Then with the helm, it's uh, 1,551. And I also have Phoenix on this character primarily because it just has a godly fire pierce on it. Negative 28% to enemy fire as a hog of an item if uh, you have a fire character. Uh, sometimes an underlooked stat even. 
But of course, the redemption aura is primarily why toads like to make phoenix. And it is a great aura to have. But yeah, the fire pierce on this thing is just epic. But let's see how well this fares just against the little tiny guys. Yeah, let's go kill some little uh, some little innocent victims and shit in the in the cold plains. And I am wearing Enigma. Three, four, and then I'm gonna cast one death sentry. Oh my god. Oh my. So that's how far they shoot. I mean, okay, these guys are innately firemen. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is amazing. Here, I'm gonna cast one death sentry. And I maxed out my death sentry, all right? Now the lightning damage is absolute ass. Or I didn't max it out. What I maxed out was the uh, synergy that allows it to shoot more times in total. Uh, 11 times because I maxed out fire blast. So you only want to put one point into death sentry because the lightning damage is going to be ass anyway. 1 to 268 in this case with one point, which with all my gear, it's level 17. But uh, what you want is the Fire Blast Synergy, because every uh, three base levels, you gain another shot from Death Sentry, and you're hoping that most of its shots are just going to be the Corpse Explosion. But oh my god, I'm actually quite uh, impressed. Oh my god, how does this perform at the cow level? Holy freaking toad! Oh my god, the Meteor! Where'd the Meteor come from? Oh, I think it came from uh, my, my Shadow Warrior, which was nice. I actually got to max out uh, the Shadow Master is what it was. Yeah, Shadow Master down here. Uh, so Shadow Master is just awesome. And this one's going to be pretty much invincible because I've maxed that shit out. And she's level 30. Or <clears throat> they are level 30 as of right now. I forgot this is D2 arm. Sorry. Uh, but I might be playing Project Diablo 2 in the upcoming future. All right. So we're going to have the old characters back. But yeah, I just, I, I just, I want to be politically correct and all that bullshit. So they uh, are pretty much invincible at level 30, is my speculation anyway. But I guess we'll find out. But uh, yeah, the nice thing about Wake of Fire is it only has two synergies, as you can see here. Fire Blast and Wake of Inferno. Uh, whereas if you go Lightning, for example, you want to have Death Sentry as well. Uh, well, maybe it's the same shit, I don't know. But nonetheless, Wake of Fire, I, I had a lot more points left over, alright? You didn't have to max uh, Shockweb or whatever. And, uh, you gotta max Fire Blast anyway. So, I mean, this is, uh, you, you had points left over. So, I'd put them into Shadow Master, alright? And then one into Cloak of Shadows, one into Fade when you want to use that, one into Burst of Speed. And that's pretty much this build. But, I wonder how well... Uh, this, uh, this broad performs in the cow level. Let's go find out. I'm primarily curious about the cast sanctuary. And check this out. Because I have Phoenix on, I don't really need insight from the mercenary. And I have a lot of fire pierce. And of course, the uh, synergy with a sunder charm and your 12 conviction from infinity is kind of ass. You know, they, they've nerfed how they uh, couple together. So really, if uh, you use a Sunder Charm and it breaks an immunity, your affinity is then only one-fifth effectiveness in terms of its Conviction Aura. So you gain about negative 17 Fire Res or something added. Whereas, uh, that's nice, but uh, I'd like to experiment a little bit. And in this case, I put the Reaper's Toll on my Mercenary. So he cast a Crep Fire like a freaking Toad, breaking a lot of physical immunes, uh, physical resistances. Uh, surviving a lot, and he's using treachery as well with a nice style points, ethereal vamp gaze with an umrun in there. Uh, just a hog of a mercenary right now. But yeah, let's see how well this build fares in the cow level. So I'm not expecting a ton here. I know them cows are pretty damn thick. So they have a lot of HP, but check this out. Here's my fire bearers. That's negative 51% enemy fire res with my gear. Uh, that's all from Frickling, uh, Flickering Flame, Phoenix Shield. Oh my god! Ooh, Dust Crowd! Oh, that's kind of nice. Two sockets. You gotta be kidding me! Oh my god! Uh, this is actually 
I mean, I feel like this this potentially could be performing better than my Lightning Sin. Now, on higher player difficulties, I think the Lightning one will end up doing a little better. Oh my god, look at this! And mind you, yes, this is Player's 1. I'd be almost scared to see what it looks like on Player's 8. It's really gonna suck, but you know what? If uh, I attempt uh, to showcase this on Player's 8. Alright, so I'll cast a Death Sentry as well, so it's gonna... Oh my god! Ooh, some claws! So it pops corpses. Thrash! Uh, I'm actually pleasantly surprised to see how well this seems to be performing in the cow level. Now, of course, another option is you could have another one of these claws on and uh, just wear two of them, and then you'll get another six to Wake of Fire instead of just the negative 28% enemy fire is, and you'll gain 10%. Well, so you're, you're going to basically have... Uh, you, you pretty much gain negative 18% uh, fire res wearing this phoenix over another one of these claws, but you lose, however, six to traps, all right? So it's quite a trade-off, so I'm curious to see. I wonder how this would perform with two of these claws, or perhaps a healthy medium would be uh, the, uh, the runer that I attempted last video with my lightning assassin. Plague. If I were to make plague in one of these that has plus three to wake of fire, that'll give me plus five to wake of fire. However, it's not going to pierce any of the res, but it does cast the lower res uh, when you get struck. Now, of course, this character is not getting struck very often. Um, so, for pure DPS, I don't think it'll be the best option, but I I'd be curious to see how they all compare. Oh my god! Look at that! Jeez, that's amazing! Yeah, once again, oh my god! Okay, so my uh, Shadow Master is converting them and stuff. And she's, uh, she's using Wake of Inferno, which I think kind of sucks. Uh, but for research purposes, we should probably try it out. Wake of Inferno. And uh, this one, oh my, look at the damage. 8,327. So, for research purposes, I should probably try this out in a future video. Um, ideally... I'm guessing you'd want to have it for bosses, so I'll just I'll I'll, I'll put it on F4. Let, let's see how it performs right here against the cows. The problem is it's just it's gonna like, like it misses all the time. I mean, look at how much it sucks. Uh, it really needs to be reworked. I hate to say it. And in Project Diablo 2, they did rework it. I think it, uh, it 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 shoots like a triangle of flames. It shoots three infernos, and they're bigger and wider and longer. So she really. <coughs> I mean, so, so yeah, they're, they're, they're a lot more effective, all right? They're just a lot more effective. They're, they're bigger and wider and longer. There's, there's three of them. So imagine that. There's three of them instead of just one. Uh, that shit is, uh, it's, uh, you, I don't know if penetrative is the word, but it is, it's GGAF, all right? And, uh, it, it's actually viable in Project Diablo 2 is pretty much the point. So it is viable in PD2. Uh, I, I still prefer, I think, Wake of Fire because I just I like the mechanic Wake. I love that flame wave. Uh, I mean, look at how just obliterate shit. But okay, so now perhaps the true test: How does this perform in the Chaos Sanctuary, where about half the enemies there are immune to fire? So you're going to be reliant on your Sunder Charm, which breaks the fire immunity. However, when it breaks them, it renders them to 95. Uh, fire resistance still, which is very, very high. Especially when your fire skill does pretty ass damage. So that's where this pierce is really going to come into play. So let's see how well they perform in the Chaos Sanctuary. Alright. Oh! Frigid Highlands! I almost forgot. Let's, tr let's try Frigid Highlands. And I do appreciate you guys. Once again, if you will like this damn video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to support the Ice Boy, and if you want to support the research, you can become a channel member or a patron. Links in the description below. And blessings to my channel members and patrons. May your contributions be brought back to you sevenfold. And may the creator bless you in KPO. Links in the description below. So here we are again. Oh my, this is just... This... This is amazing! Uh, I, I'm thinking 
with the fire traps now, now that we have the Sunder Charms, um, that really threw a curveball at this whole thing. It used to just be a no-brainer. It was the uh, lightning traps no matter what. But I don't think that's the case anymore. I mean, this character isn't fully dicked out. I have one, two, three more slots here for another trap GC. And I could put on an SOJ, uh, but then I'm not going to have Cannot Be Frozen. And I could then mess around with uh, things to take the place of Phoenix, which I don't know if I'd really want to. I'm really liking what Phoenix is doing for in uh, this case. But uh, let me know in the comments what sort of uh, changes should I make to this build. And of course, we got to try Infinity on the Mercenary just because. I mean, right now he's using Reaper's Toll. So Infinity, I think, will probably be awesome. So let's try that out. But nonetheless, I have Mara's on, two dual skills, five dual attributes, and an almost perfect 28 all res. Flickering Flame, I have Enigma. The two dual skills, the 44, 45% <clears throat> faster run walk, plus one to teleport, and all that other shit. Uh, I think it was just epic. And Raven Frost. Uh, Grey Gloves, Mage Fist. Now, that's not going to help with your trap laying the uh, cast rate, but it is going to help with your teleport. So it is important to see how fast you can uh, cast the traps. you got to check the breakpoints, and it depends on what your claw is. So here's how she's uh, laying them right now. It's not bad. I have Arak. I have one Stone of Jordan, and I have Alder's Boots. All right, and then I have a Torch and an Annie. Asunder, and I have three trappers on this one. And uh, they're level 89, so in Wake of Fire, of course, is max out. Here we go. These guys are going to be easy to kill, because uh, these are the lightning immunes. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, this is actually, this is better than the lightning one. I've tried the lightning one. No, 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 don't, don't you go down. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Don't you go down. Stay up, buddy. Here we go. Alright, two death sentries. Oh my god, look at this. This is better than a lightning one. Am I missing something? Let me know in the comments. I mean, this has got to be better than a lightning. Look how fast it's clearing the damn screen. I think I found, uh, I think the vast research has, uh, uh, has found something, has discovered, we are on the brink of discovery in the research and I, I did not expect this. I thought it was going to really suck ass. All right. I thought this was going to be wretched, but I mean, I mean, I didn't even max it out yet. Two to sockets. Plus two, <laughs> two sockets. I, I, I really, I, I, I didn't know. Uh, that this was going to be absolute hog status. Holy shit. Research noted. Yeah, damn. Ooh, wrist blade. Now, these ones have horrible attack uh, speed base, but that's fine. There's a bunch of trash to sift through. I mean, imagine this against Bam. It's going to kick his ass. Uh, that reminds me, I should use Wake of Inferno for the bosses. And I'm not even using Fade right now. There's Death Sentry. Uh, de yeah, the Death Sentry combination, I think, is great. You only need one point into it, alright? Just put one point in that Death Sentry, and then max out your Fire Blast so it shoots more. Let's do some Cloak of Shadows. Blind Day's Eyes. Blind, blind Day's Eyes. Jeez, this is just amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to Fade, just to, just to feel a little bit more safe. Gonna cast that Fade. Uh, then are, uh, the res are quite nice and fade. But yeah, notice the Shadow Master. Uh, a very, uh, Shadow Master is a great tank. Uh, it, 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 it survives. She's a survivor, all right? We'll, we'll, just, we'll just use that sort of lingo for now. She's a survivor. It's just easier. Uh, forget the political crack bullshit. Uh, she's a survivor. Well, or he's a survivor. Uh, uh, let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below. Which one is it? It's just hard to. I'm not. It's just hard to fucking tell. I'm not, I'm, I, I'm not trying to be me. Uh, it's just hard. I, I don't really know. What do you guys have to say about that in the comments below? Which, 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 uh, what pronoun should we use? Shit. I yeah, I just don't want to offend anybody here. God damn. All right. Now we have the uh, Wake of Inferno. 
Oh, they shoot slow. You might be better off just using these. Oh my god, are you kidding me? So Wake of Inferno, I think it actually... The time in which it takes to do that 8,000 damage... Oh, that is per second. And this is per blast. Uh, how many blasts does this shit do per second, I guess, is the ultimate question to ask. Oh my god, Tutor Paladin... Oh my god, that's a godly sword. I'm gonna hold on to that. Even though it has a base damage roll on there. How does this build... No, 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 no. She's gonna get her ass kicked in the trap, right? Let's see. And, and, I'm, and I'm also curious to see how well does my Shadow Master survive here. Okay. Oh my god. Look at her survive. And you can hear go, ah, ah. But but she still is she's still living. She's still thriving. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at look at her survive. She's a survivor. She's a survivor. God damn. Uh, that is amazing. How well does this do battle? Uh, and I think what's actually uh, great about this build is it would just be, uh, it, it would clear the world zone keep fast as a freaking toad. So check this out. Oh my god! Holy sh- holy toad! Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, because there's so much clutter down here. And that's where these traps really shine, I think, because they just cover so much area when they when they cast. Look at that! Jeez! I mean, this is better than lightning! Isn't it? This has got to be better than lightning traps! Imagine this with a penny on the mercenary! And these guys are really fire out, and look what it still does to them! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this has got to be better than, uh, than the lightning traps, uh, on, on low player count. I mean, even on high player count, the, the lightning traps suck, alright? They're so linear, uh, they miss shit all the time. You gotta line them up, you gotta line them up perfectly. It's a pain in the ass. Oh my god! Yeah, look at look at look at look at look at, look at this. I uh, yeah, like my new favorite build. If only we could have the old damn assassin back. You know, if only we could have the real assassin back. I mean, this is my favorite. Yeah, damn. All right, let's let's get these things ready to go. Book shadows. Shay. So those guys are all in any fire me up. One, two, three, four, five, and then one uh, death century six. So there's only five traps out. Look at this! Jeez! I mean, my Shadow Master, see, that's the thing with Shadow Master. If you max that ass out, uh, level 30, 2,000 life, uh, all this other crap, 82 res, all, are you kidding me? I mean, look at this! I mean, uh, she's a survivor! Ooh, Grand Matron. Three to bow and crossbow skills. Yeah, so that's that's worthy of uh, cube socketing. Uh, or actually, Lar okay, yeah, cube socketing because you want four, you don't want five. Uh, Lars will give you five. Cube socket that shit for a uh, faith and uh, even that other one for that matter. All right, so these guys. Oh my, yeah, these guys are a little bit more difficult. Let me cast... No, those things are complete ass. Uh, unfortunately, those those Inferno ones just really suck. Oh, wow. Alright, so let's put them to the test. But watch her regeneration. Okay. Uh, the regeneration is not that good. 
Oh, wow. It's actually destroying these ones better, it seems. Or is it? Oh, she's gonna die. She died. Let's cast her again. And I could be throwing these, uh, these firebombs all the time if I wanted to. Uh, if I wanted to be. The, uh, fire blast. It is not totally maxed out. But, uh, it, it, it does quite nice. Quite nicely it does right there. Okay, so here's all Wake of Fire, and now let's test it against Wake of Inferno. Here's Wake of Inferno now. Are you kidding me? Holy shit, the other one is better. Even he gets a single target. I mean, look at how horrible that is. Okay, here's Wake of Fire. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, Wake of Fire is actually better. With its straight-up DPS. Uh, as crazy as that is, why the hell would you wake up, use Wake of Inferno? Uh, even against a single target. Uh, that is complete bullshit, but that's just how it is, I guess. Uh, they just uh, they forgot to do the math or something. But not dead enough. Uh, but nonetheless, let me know what you guys think about this build. What changes do you think I should make of it in a future video? Again, I would like to try, I think, Infinity on the Mercenary. And maybe we'll do kind of a similar run. We'll see how well it fares there. Maybe try Player's 8 and all that crap for research purposes. Uh, again, appreciate you guys for coming by. Like this video, if you will. Subscribe to the page. And blessings to my channel members and patrons. Links in the description below. Peace be with you.